What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to use Mix It Up to get a Clip It command so your users can clip great parts of your stream so you don't have to. Let's get into it. The first thing we always do is we go up to our menu bar, our hamburger menu up here. We're going to click that and we're going to go down to commands. Now, you will have none of this here. These are just my personal commands, but we are going to use the Clip It command up top. So what you're going to do is you're going to hit add a new command and I'll edit my own. And you're gonna call that command clip it or clip or whatever we wanna call it. And the chat trigger is going to be clip. So it'll come up for your users as exclamation point clip. Now, down here you see four different things we need to add to this command to make it effectively usable. We are gonna go through all four of them step by step and we are gonna start with Twitch. Now to get this command here and to get this window to pop up, you need to go down to your action bar and you need to scroll down to Twitch and click on that and this window is gonna come up. At type, you're going to scroll all the way down and you're going to hit clip or you're just going to hit right at the top, it'll be clip. Once that is there, you see result is dollar sign clip URL. That is done. We are going to hit save on that. Now, going back to edit the clip, we are going to hit part two, which is the chat message. Moving into the chat message, all you have to do is you have to go down to action, hit chat message and then the plus button and this window will come up now for my chat message typically i like to have it go into chat just so people can know that their clip was captured it did work and it thanks them for the clip i say thank you for the clip i can make some high quality content with this because i typically post them onto tiktok or youtube shorts or whatever it may be so you can write whatever you want to there as a thank you or you don't even have to have a chat message but this is just something that i feel goes a long way for your viewers after we've saved that chat message we are going to add a wait. Now the reason we're going to add a wait is because this gives time for Twitch to get itself together, figure things out, and people won't be able to spam the clip. So you're going to go into your action bar here and you're going to scroll down and hit wait. Once you hit wait, it will come up with this. And I have it wait about 10 seconds. Like I said, this just gives everything time to recover, capture the clip, do what it needs to do before people can do it again or this basically prevents spam. So 10 seconds or however long you want to put in there and then you're going to hit save. Now, for step four, this is the last and final part we need to do. You have to add a Discord in here. So you have to go to action and scroll through, hit Discord, which is right here. After you hit Discord, this window is gonna come up. Now, for your action, you're gonna wanna send a message. So send message into what channel you want it in. So I have a channel specifically set up for my clips so it doesn't spam into general chat and get real messy. That way I can find them very, very easily. So I scroll down through my channels, hit clips, and then you are gonna put the chat message, what we saw in Twitch, as dollar sign clip URL. This is going to allow Discord to grab the Twitch clip and place it within the channel that you want it to be in. So after you've done all that, you're just gonna hit save and boom, that is it. That is it for this Mix It Up tutorial. I hope you appreciate it. I know the Clip It command has been really, really awesome for me personally. So if this is your first time here, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification. It does mean a ton and it helps out the channel a lot. You can also find me over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Pastor Gaines. I stream 7.30 to 10.30 Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope to see you guys there. And until then, I'll see you in the next one.